So then, the greatest Marple Blu-ray change has got to be... Shut up and sit down. Yo, what's good, it's the Boy Dude Reviews. And after talking about the top five worst Blu-ray changes, I decided to rank the top best Blu-ray changes. Marpa did a fantastic job adding and really enhancing certain scenes. So without further ado, let's get on with this. Number 10, adding Aaron and Zeke next to Grisha. There is a specific shot in the manga where you do see Aaron and Zeke stalk Grisha. And originally in the anime, we didn't actually get to see a moment like that. So I was really impressed that they actually went ahead and animated Aaron and Zeke in that shot, as well as refining Grisha's face in this scene. Number nine, uncensoring the royal family. Now, even though the Marpa version of Grisha's massacre on the royal family is a little bit gorier in the TV version compared to the studio one back in season three it was still censored in some areas and i am glad that they uncensored it showing the brutality and just the horrifying nature of what grisha has done to this family i mean bloody hell some of these shots are bloody gory number eight erin looking sad looking at carla i love how they slightly changed erin's expression in this shot showing how he does feel some sort of emotion looking at his parents in the past particularly Carla, whereas his TV counterpart looked really stone cold. So I'm glad they humanized Aaron in this shot. Number seven, Grisha showing Aaron the key. When I first saw this still in the TV version, I thought it looked bloody rough. The character designs were slightly off model, but I am grateful that they enhanced and improved this shot, redrawing baby Aaron and Mikas' faces, as well as Grisha and Aaron. Number six, Aaron's founding titan's new animation. I am really pleased that they animated the hair of Aaron's founding titan in the Blu-ray. Number five, Mikasa and Arma's new animation. This was always a sequence that I always imagined Marpa to reanimate, but I wasn't 100% bothered by the TV version. But I am super grateful that they went ahead and reanimated this scene, making it look a lot smoother, adding keyframes and redrawing certain key poses. While the redraw on Peak's car Titan design wasn't 100% necessary, the new design is a lot more refined than what came before it in the TV. Number four, Aaron's face in paths. While I did expect Marpa to redraw some of the other faces of Aaron in paths, the other shots of him. I am so thankful that Marpa redrew this key shot of Aaron looking up at the paths tree. I always just found his chin to look way too round and too chubby looking. It just didn't fit his overall character profile. Number three, we got the Better Call Saul Titan design. Yeah, the anime version just didn't hit it for me when I first saw it. It didn't look like the manga and it just looked a bit generic in my opinion, but the Blu-ray truly enhanced it and really captured the look and feel that Isayama initially drew in his manga. I love how they added more shading to his face as well. At number two we got Grisha stabbing his hand. While the TV version isn't initially bad, I do feel like the Blu-ray enhanced it a bit more, adding more keyframes and smoothing out the motion. We even see more of the blood as he's stabbing his hand, as we don't see that in the TV one. Before we talk about number one, let's talk about some honourable mentions. Every single shot of Grisha Yeager's face in episode 79. Apart from that one shot of him where he has shadow under his eye, I feel like every single shot of him in that episode in the Blu-ray version just looks a heck of a lot better. I always found his art to look quite off model at times when I first initially watched the episode on TV, but this Blu-ray version, they really did justice to Grisha Yeager's face, reducing some of the streak lines and also better drawn expressions. While this shot of Eren isn't a huge difference from the TV, it's slightly cleaner than the TV, there's less lines going under his eyes and his nose is a little bit more in proportion to how he actually looks. Grisha's Marpa key hand. I do like how they reanimated the scene as the Wit Studio version is a little bit jarring in this scene as the art styles are quite different and removing the filter on the OG Titans. Actually seeing what they look like is so cool looking at them in the Blu-ray. Just seeing how terrifying they look in that whole red hue and just their designs just looks beautiful mate. But coming at number one is Ymir's new Titan design. The change I didn't ask for but never knew I needed. I liked how they made Ymir look more frightening and terrifying. I love how this shot is drastically different to the TV version as the TV one looks more or less like the female Titan. So the redesign makes it look a lot more original and it's just freaky to look at mate. The hair blowing in the wind, the rib cage extruding out from her body. I just love it. I love it dude. That's why it's my number one favorite change in the entire Blu-ray set. But my list might not be the right list. It's just a list. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of these changes and what is your favorite Blu-ray change of volume 3?
Stay tuned next week as Volume 4 comes and drops by with episodes 82 to 87 of the Blu-ray and I'll do comparisons for that. Like, share for more AOT videos, comparisons, breakdowns, rankings, updates and more. Thanks for watching Boarded Review, signing out.